Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done a video, and so this video is going to be short, to the point, because I tried to record it on my laptop, and it would not upload, and yeah, so I'm just going to make it on my iPhone here, and um, this video is going to talk about slapping, mostly, so like abuse, what is abuse, and discipline sorry my allergies are kicking in and <clears throat> my throat's getting dry yeah anyways <laughs> so I personally take slapping as abuse and here's why if you slap a child just because they do something wrong you're right they're gonna learn not to do it again However, how will that help them in the long run? Especially if this child happens to be a toddler. Or, you know, that age, which is usually toddlers and four-year-olds. They watch you and they do what you do. So, let's just say somebody in a daycare setting were to slap a child. Which is totally not allowed by the way, and plus there's security cameras, but they did it off security cameras, like in a bathroom or something, I don't know. Let's just use this as a, as an, uh, I can't talk. Thursday, you guys. Let's just use that as an example. So, if you hit the child because they had an accident in their pants, which would be totally stupid to hit them for, but... And they see their friends doing something wrong. Maybe another kid stole a toy from them or something. They're going to hit them. Is that really what you want to teach kids? Of course not. Because technically when you show them, when you slap a child, you're saying it's okay to hit another child. And that's not okay. That's not what you're supposed to be teaching the kids. So, <clears throat> I take it as abuse. And plus, think about it. What's it going to do in the long run? You know, you got to think of those questions that don't get answered a lot. So, I take it as abuse. And plus, you should never do that, by the way. Um, you know, there's a difference. I think slapping is totally unacceptable. Because there is other ways that you can handle the situation. You know, if somebody, if another child takes another toy from the child, you know. And if you say don't, you want to stay away from that word don't. Because what they hear is do. And, you know, you have to think of these little things. You have to put yourself in, like, a two-year-old, you know, place or, like, a three-year-old's place. You know, we receive things differently because we're older and we understand. They don't take it so well. They don't fully understand. Now, it's okay if you, like, do this to them, like, gently or... Pull the hair like really lightly, just kind of fling it by that. I mean, to teach them something, um, that's okay, I think, because you're just doing it to show them, you know, not to do it again. But don't say, <clears throat> here's something I learned, and credits go to babycenter.com. Um, something that I learned. Is it's okay to do that, but you shouldn't. And definitely do not ask them, how would you feel if I did that to you? They don't really get it. I mean, I guess if you say, like, you gently, like, bop them with it and say, do you like that? And they say no. And you say, then you're using the word don't. So, you know, you really need to think. Um, toddlers especially hear things, but they don't get it. Oops. Mouse is gone. Um, and, you know, you just got to be careful what you say. 
um, even if it has a bad contents to it, you shouldn't be doing that. Okay, discipline. What is discipline? When a child does something wrong, you can put them in timeout. But here's the thing. If you put them in timeout, do not put them in their room. I think that is the biggest mistake you can make as a child caregiver or anybody. Because it's Disneyland in there. They're not really going to learn. Because most likely they're going to go off, read their favorite book, or, you know, go play with their favorite toy. What's that supposed to teach them? The best thing you can do is take them out of the situation as fast as you can. And usually what I do is I say, see how your friends are playing? Since I work with toddlers, obviously I, you know. There's certain ways you need to talk to toddlers. I say, um, do you see how your friends are playing? And they're like, yeah. When you can act like them, you can go and join in on the fun. You know, that's the best thing you can do. Um, there's, you just gotta be really careful because you don't know the child's background. Um, you could be working with an autistic child and not even know it. Most likely you, you will, but, um, you know. I've worked with kids who have been in foster care their entire life, and this is probably, like, the third or fourth time in a family, you know. And that's hard. You gotta really keep in mind children's backgrounds. Um, so more focusing on discipline is... You know, say, I don't like that. I don't fully think you should say no, especially um, as, like, a toddler teacher. I don't really think you should say no. Because you should explain to it what they did on their level. I mean, sure, I say no sometimes, but I say, I don't like that, you know. Or, you know, they're pulling somebody's hair. That causes an owie or something like that. You know, there's different wordings that you can use. And I think my next video will be talking and understanding toddlers. Um, you know, I'll kind of go more in depth and it probably will combine into this video. Because I could say a lot more, but this video is seven minutes long, so... Um, I hope you guys liked it. I hope that helped. Just remember, if you choose to slap your own child, I guess that is fine. But remember, what is it going to help in the long run if they are toddlers? Do you really want your child to be hitting another child because they saw you hitting them? Think about those little questions. Be safe. You know, make smart decisions and have fun with the kids. Love them, too. Okay, so thanks, guys. I will be seeing you guys in another video. Hopefully this weekend I can make a couple. So, um, yeah, look out for the next video. It'll be talking and understanding toddlers' way of play and all that good stuff. So, thank you guys so much. Comment, rate, subscribe. All that good stuff, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!